Here's the issue with all the other on-page SEO tools. Every single one of them, Pop, Cora, Jasper, Surfer, all the different ones, uh, the Ahrefs one, the SEMrush one, anything you download from WordPress and anything you would get going in ChatGPT. Not all of them do keyword research in terms of the finding the right keywords for you to use. And absolutely none of them use the actual AIs that Google uses for search ranking. Google does not use the NLP demo that they have. That that's not how they determine what your keywords are. They do not use uh, LSI. They do not use latent semantic indexing. They don't use TFIDF. They don't use term frequency and inverse, inverse document frequency. They don't use any of those kinds of systems. And if you're just basing your keywords on what your competitors have, like if you do a search in Google like this, and you're like, okay, I just want to see what kind of keywords these guys are using in their title, and, and this is not always even the meta description. This is a snippet that's not always necessarily the meta description. If you're like, fine, I'll just, I know what I want to rank for. Let's say it's just FUBAR in this case. I know what I want to rank for. And I want to just see how people are using it in their spots that we think are the most important SEO spots. They don't even know what that is, right? They, they assume the URL is an important SEO spot. They assume the title is an important SEO spot, right? They assume the meta description or the first paragraph or something is an important SEO spot, but they don't test, they don't know. That's the first set of assumptions. And then they assume that certain words in here are gonna be important. And they assume if you say it as much as possible, that's better. Or they assume there's a, you gotta be in the ratio of your competitors. They make all kinds of assumptions. At Underground SU University, where we reverse engineered all the algorithms to know how they work, we didn't assume, <laughs> we didn't make assumptions, we tested. And we found all the actually important SEO spots. And we found the actual keywords you're supposed to be using by actually reverse engineering the actual AIs that Google says they use. So let's go through quickly the actual AIs that Google has fully, completely, this is a public page. This is in the Google Search Central documentation. It's been out for years now, where they actually fully admit these are the algorithms we're actually using. And these are the ones that we actually test for. I'll, I'll show you the ones we test for. First is BERT. BERT stands for their bi-directional encoder representations from Transformer. It's the basis transformer they've used that has started all the whole transformer craze that everybody else is based on. But it's a totally different transformer. It has totally different token sizes. It has totally different uh, keyword entities that it uses and finds. So we actually reverse engineer and build you a few different models where BERT, both BERT and TW BERT, which is term weighting BERT, which are two different, total different transformers that we test for for you. We test for deduplication as well. We test for freshness as well. We test for the helpful content system. Google has a whole helpful content system that Google uses that nobody else tests for that we test for. We find you the right keywords you're supposed to use for this, which are ranking factors, by the way. And we are we have a proprietary rankings and scoring system for the helpful content system and the review content system as well, which nobody else has or even talks about. We show you that these are on-page factors you need to have to rank. And if you're not going for them, you're leaving ranking juice on the table, which is what you don't want to do. You don't want to just mimic what your competitors are doing because then you can only be as good as your competitors if you happen to get it 100% correct. What you want to do is surpass your competitors by using secret keywords that nobody else even realizes will boost you. And that's what we help you find, right? So some of those keywords are in the helpful content system, which we find. We don't have link analysis yet, but we're building that in. Uh, we do have a MUM or the multitask, multitask Unified model. We do have ways of helping you with this AI as well, boosting you. Here's another major one that nobody else has or even knows about. Neural matching. Neural matching is an AI system, it says here, that Google uses to understand representations of concepts and queries and pages and match them to one another. This is actually, Gal, this is actually their workhorse AI that does the majority of on-page ranking that they made years before the NLP demo that has nothing to do with the NLP demo and has its own special entities or synonyms or metonyms actually that you need to use. And this is the bulk of the research that we do for you. This is the, the biggest AI model we build for you. It takes us a long time and costs us a lot of money to build you an AI model for this. And we are the only ones in the industry period who even know about it, Never mind who do it. So that is a major, major feather in our cap right there. Then uh, we also do the passage ranking system for you. And here's another major one that they've talked about. It's called RankBrain. RankBrain is an AI system, as they say here, that helps you understand, helps them understand how words are related to concepts. It means they can better return relevant content. 
even if it doesn't contain all the exact words used in a search. What? How is it possible we can find you the words to use if, even if your competitors are not using them? That's because we reverse engineered and we build you a model for RankBrain and we do testing, two different tests in RankBrain to find out how this AI works. RankBrain and neural matching are the workhorse of on-page rankings that no other system even talks about, never mind test for. So we not only do we, do we talk about them a lot, we test for them as well. There's also the uh, somewhere in the reliable information systems, I think it is, or in the review systems. Uh, I don't know where they put in their knowledge graph information, but we also do, we rebuild the knowledge graph AI as well. It's an information architecture AI that works completely different. It's not a generative AI. None of those AIs, by the way, are generative AIs, right? They're all different kinds of AI systems that have different kinds of entities that have different kinds of encoding and decoding. So we build all those up for you in Keyword Spy. And if you want to see where they are in Keyword Spy, let me just show you a report that's recently been done. So here's our reporting system. Let's do a digital marketing coach. And you see, we build up the rank brain entities for you and we show the ones that are being used and you want to look for the precipitous drop. So a digital marketing coach has got way more than this one or a precipitous drop between digital marketing coach for the AMQ digital marketing coach, or look, digital marketing and marketing coach are way higher than all the rest. That tells you this is kind of the primary rank brain entities you want to be using. And we summarize that here in the results as well by our own proprietary scoring method of scoring them based on the different tests and AIs that tells you which uh, words you should be using to give you a much better sense, both in terms of phrase entities and in terms of single word entities. And here's another thing that the other tools don't realize. Some entities are phrase entities because some of the uh, AIs like Rank Brain and BERT work in phrases. Uh, also Rank Brain and BERT can work in single words, but they work in phrases. But neural matching specifically and only works in words in synonyms and metonyms, but it can't just be a dictionary thesaurus either, because that's not going to work. Sometimes, like for example, consultancy is not necessarily a synonym of coach, or program isn't necessarily a, a synonym of coach, right? The key word here was digital, digital marketing coach. You got to know what neural matching thinks is a synonym and metonym based on all every single uh, trillions of web pages in their corpus. There's no way to reverse engineer this and do this manually. You have to use an AI to do this. There's no way to do this manually. You can't break out a pencil and paper and, and do the math on this. I mean, you can if you want to take like three years to do it. If you're like a math PhD, go ahead. But otherwise, you need an AI to do it for you. And you can see why we built the tool, because in underground SU University, we're like, oh, geez, we found out how it works. There's no way a human could ever do this. Oh, no. How are we going to? Uh oh, what are we going to do? So we had to build this tool and we built it so that we could use it. We used it internally for years. And then we then we opened it, uh, select portions of uh, up to the public. This is the uh, SEO University version, which you get most of it. You don't get test pages when you're not a member of SEO University. The main user gets all this stuff. And typically, you don't even need to look at this. This is all wrapped up into the editor that generates your AI article for you, which you don't even need to uh, worry about having, uh, having done. The editor, with one click of a generate article button, generates you an article either a high quality article or a middle quality article. It does the URL title, the meta description. It does all this stuff for you. And then you have various scores that are important that you need to uh, take a look at. And it highlights uh, certain keywords that are important to, to highlight as well. But I'll, I'll get back to this in a second. So anyway, just to finish off, to round off what we have for you, BERT has different kinds of entities. You can see BERT is really, uh, and term weighting BERT, is really interested in finding the actual query intent. So as you can imagine, and we nail this uh, very well, uh, by reverse engineering this and building a model for you for this. For digital marketing coach, what do they want to do? They want to find a digital marketing coach. They want to hire a digital marketing coach and or they want to get coaching for digital marketing strategies. We also have an AI which analyzes uh, the narrative voice of where you would be for this, uh, uh, of what the search intent primary is and the secondary search intent is commercial. I would say, yeah, th this is a no-do query. It's the middle of the sales funnel query, right? You know the search funnel where there's information here. There's information transactional here and there's transactional here. For digital marketing coach, it's telling you you're right here in the sales funnels where it's telling you are. Our AI tells you, tells you what the journey is going to be. 
The audience is likely in the early stages of their journey seeking information on digital marketing coaching options. Their next steps could involve researching more about the digital different coaches and their expertise before making a decision. We give you all the salient information you need to write the content or understand the content on your own. Not that you need to write it on your own. Our AI will totally write it for you in a single click of a button. You don't need to tweak a whole bunch of settings for the most part. It's pretty much a click of a button and some optional settings uh, and we do it for you. But only after finding the most important uh, entities for each of these different AIs, which are all different AIs, which is very important. So these are the BERT uh, keywords. There's also these uh, sub phrases, which are important. Content marketing coach, marketing strategy coach, online marketing coach, uh, digital marketing training. That could be a variation, which could be important in the page. And we check how many times we score all these phrases be based on the different AIs of how important they are for all the different AIs. Because at the end of the day, Google uses like six or seven different on-page AIs and makes you a consolidated score, right? So we've used that method. We've uh, used biomimicry, if you will, or in this case, Google mimicry. We've mimicked this, the proprietary scoring feature of Google in their search engine uh, in terms of the way they score documents in terms of information architecture theory. And we've revamped that and rebuilt it for our different uh, words you should be using here as well. And you have the ability to upvote or downvote a word if you think they're important. If you're like, yeah, I think this is really important. I want to upvote this or no, I don't think this is important. I want to downvote this. You can do so. Another important point here is that we include all the stop words here as well, which is really important. We include the stop words because uh, that helps make you the makes the phrasing. A lot of other these tools, they remove the stop words, which is really, really bad that they remove the stop words. You don't want them to do that. You're like, okay, Josh, great. You found your EMQ, your exact match query, your keyword you want to rank for, digital marketing coach. And maybe the client gives it to you. Maybe you've been working in this niche for 10 years. You know, that's what everyone searches. But the question is, was that the best way to find this keyword? How do you know what the keywords you should be trying to rank for in the first place? And that's where keyword discovery comes in. Keyword discovery is where you would start in our system and you would put in a seed keyword. It could be an EMQ or it can just be an idea, right? It, and uh, you could put in anything in here and it's going to cast a very wide net with the AI. And this is keyword discovery. This app alone is what we're currently releasing on AppSumo. So here's the beautiful thing about keyword discovery and what it does. And this is why you want to start here. Even if you're a seasoned SEO, even if you've been working in digital marketing, you know, lawyer Calgary, Alberta, or fitness trainer, Hollywood, or whatever it is, or digital, digital marketing coach, even if you've been working, so you could even do just like San Francisco or Honolulu or Manhattan or Manhattan neighborhoods. You can do any kind of seed idea you want. But even if you've been working in that niche forever and you think you know all the keywords, I'd say check again, right? And this is the beautiful thing about keyword discovery. Not only do we have the traffic, the trends of whether it's hot this year or not, uh, how much money is behind that particular niche in terms of uh, of marketing dollars, uh, how much money people are willing to spend, therefore how much, where in the sales fund you are, like how much closer to the end of the sales fund you are, of where people have their credit card in hand willing to spend money. But we factor that against a proprietary algorithm of an advanced AI checking the difficulty of how difficult each of these keywords are to give you a consolidated score of the final return on investment. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the return on investment. So let me show you how it works. So what do you do is you'd, you'd start with a seed keyword and to determine for the AI, because there's certain things the AI is not gonna know. It doesn't know if you're a top level expert in the niche. If it is, this would make it slightly easier. You would check it. It doesn't know if you plan on using someone else's AI content. If you use our AI content and you're in the green for all of our numbers, you will rank just fine. You don't need to select this button. However, if you're gonna use anyone else's content, you're gonna have ranking problems. You need to select this button to make sure the difficulty report reflects how difficult it's gonna be for you using other people's content. Or if you decide not to be in the green with our content, it's, it's, I'm telling you, you got to be in the green. When you go in the editor and you see these numbers here that I showed you, and they say it's red, you got to make it better. You got to be in the green. That's the only way, if you're in the, in the green for this, I can guarantee you on average a boost of 12 spots. I have thousands of data points to prove that if you're on the average here, if you're following our recommendations, uh, not only this one, but a few others, and you're in the green, I can guarantee you a boost of 12 spots. And in keyword discovery, you don't need to check this. If you don't plan on being in the green for some reason, like you're doing spray and pray or whatever, and you're just going to build thousands of pages with our system, which you can do very easily, very quickly. Uh, you're just going to do spray and pray and try to rank it. 
Well, then you should click this because it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're not getting high quality AI content. And then also, are you already using a high powered site? If you're using a high powered site, then that's great. Then that's going to be fine uh, the way that is. Then you could click it. It'll be a little easier for you. Okay, so I don't want to run the system right now because I know people on AppSumo are hammering it. So I'm just going to show you a keyword I've already done. So let's look at Lawyer Calgary, for example. Here's where you find all the stuff. First off, it sorts it by keyword ROI. Keyword ROI is the score of monthly searches and traffic. So it takes the traffic times the uh, average money per click people are willing to spend. That tells you how much money there is behind this keyword and whether it's worth ranking for it to begin with times the year over year change if it's up or down for this year. And that is the keyword ROI. And that is what some SEO tools give you. Not even every SEO tool gives you this. Most SEO tools will give you like traffic. Basically, that's all they give you. Or they'll give you traffic times like backlinks is what they'll give you. We have a much more powerful AI that's doing a much more in-depth analysis here for you. So keyword ROI is the first thing. The second thing is keyword difficulty. This is showing you how difficult it's going to be relative for these different keywords. And you notice I started with Lawyer Calgary, Alberta, and I got 443 keywords out of it. For digital marketing, for example, digital marketing coach, uh, we only got 46 keywords out of it. It really depends on how big the niche is. But for some other ones, we got a lot. Like for example, Manhattan neighborhoods, we got 500 different ideas out of it. And this was Manhattan neighborhoods was to do like a rank and rent site. If you want to make a, a rank and rent site or sell a site for Manhattan neighborhoods, you could build up different uh, pages ranking for the easiest of these, which some of these were super easy. Like a difficulty of 16 is super easy in our system. A difficulty of 17 is super easy in our system. But look, there's 14,000 searches, 18,000 searches. Um, NYC Dumbo is up, whatever that means. I have no idea. I could click on this to find out what the heck that means. But it's something to do with, uh, it's a neighborhood in Brooklyn. Great. Okay. I wouldn't even know. But the AI knows. And you can make like a rank and rent site where you're ranking for this stuff. And then you go to real estate agents who sell real estate in this area and say, hey, look it, I've already got a blog ranking. I got 10,000 visitors a month. Uh, rent the site for me and I'll put all your, or, or buy an ad for me and I'll put all your, your real estate information on it for people who are looking for different neighborhoods. Uh, you know, that's a really good rank and rent idea, for example, right? Or you could sell it to them, sell it to them for whatever, for 10,000 bucks, 20,000 uh, bucks. With this AI, digital real estate's kind of back on the table. But anyway, let's go back to a different idea here. So let's go back to digital marketing coach. So that's what the keyword ROI is. The keyword ROI is the hotness times the money times the searches. And that's how you get the keyword ROI. That's how you know you're ranking for the best keywords because, hey, look, I'm going to make my client a lot of money because look how much people are willing to pay per click to, to appear at number one for this. Clearly, there's a lot of money behind Internet Marketing Coach. You know, there's good searches. It's up or not. You know, that, that kind of a thing. It's a ratio. So just to quickly go over what you have in keyword difficulty. Look how in depth it is uh, beyond what everyone else has. Everyone has page rank, which is a score of 100. But nobody checks if the EMQ is in the page. EMQ is in the title. EMQ is in the URL. What is the page focus? What is the site focus? What is the title focus? How focused on this keyword are they? Whether they have backlinks, they have paid traffic, do they have organic traffic to the, to the page? And do they have brand awareness? Our AI is way, way more robust. And it uh, we checked AI content, so it made it 20% harder to rank. So this is the keyword difficulty even after selecting AI content. And I can just tell you right now, on an average difficulty of 23% in our system, you could pretty much double this number, and that's the spot you'll come in at. Uh, we've done hundreds of pages now that corroborate this, this data. It says average difficulty of 23. You could pretty much guarantee if you follow our recommendations, you're going to come in at, at a spot, you know, between 36 and 46 uh, is where you'll come in just for your on page. And then you would do your off page SEO from there. And uh, our AI is like a terminator. It targets the low hanging fruit here. It targets the weak link and it says, hey, this guy's weak. His difficulty is only 16. You could knock this guy off the SERP. And so it picks the one you, it thinks you could take off and targets it for you. So that's keyword discovery. And uh, uh, if anybody has any questions who's listening to this, please email me and let me know.